Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video I am unboxing a, another uh, The Queen's Treasures furniture piece. You can see my trunk in the back there. Uh, you might also notice that the background looks a little different. I'm actually on the other side of my... Um, so where my doll room is, uh, it's in like this bonus space. That's, I mean it really much is the second floor but the second floor is pretty open and it's free-flowing and uh, so one side is the doll room, and then this side is like my sewing, crafts, hobbies, uh, the other hobbies, um, workout space, like there's just a bunch of, anyway, it's like, you know, some people say they have she sheds, I have a she floor. Um, so that was part of the design of this house. Um, I pretty much have a, the playroom that my child childhood self always wanted. But anyway, <laughs> uh, so this is my second... Um, furniture piece from the Queen's Treasure, and I originally bought it to be for Kirsten. I, I haven't shown you Kirsten's room yet. It's almost, actually, it's pretty pushed together, uh, but I don't think it's big enough to include this piece, uh, but it is more farmhouse chic, so I could definitely use it for my modern dolls as well, and I think there are a couple of other dolls that it could fit with, but it was originally purchased for Kirsten, which is why she's in this video. So I'm going to pause it, get the box out, so you can see the box is relatively big. Um, not wide compared to the um, storage trunk, but definitely just as tall, and I think the height is going to be the same. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video, get it open, and let you see it. Okay, hopefully you can see why I wanted this piece for Kirsten. It looks perfect for her. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think I'm actually going to, to leave it with Kirsten. Um, I think I'm going to, uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's a piece I've wanted for a very, very long time. I cannot get that bottom <laughs> right hand cabinet to close. I don't know why. Maybe it's just like how it's like leveled and it's on carpet. I'm not sure, but it's not wanting to close. So uh, this is the front of the piece. As you can see, it's a little bit taller uh, than Kirsten. Okay, I was going to see if I can get this little thing out. So this is the, um, the tag. Uh, it's the Queen's Treasures, bringing back imagination in play. I love that tagline. Uh, so this is the farmhouse collection. This is called a step back cupboard. It's a wooden hutch, and it is wood. Uh, it is uh, three storage drawers that all do open. Um, they don't... Oh, yeah, they do come out. Oh, that's nice. That's a good touch. Because um, I think if you wanted to, you could put them as boxes later here. Um, I do have a little defect here. There's a little bit of a paint chipping coming off there. Um... I'm going to have to be very careful with that. I might get some glue. Sorry, the sun is being... Uh, I might have to pause and scoot forward because the sun is being annoying. Okay, that's better. Um, so yeah, I do have a chip here. Um, it's... I think I can glue it down. I It's something I can fix pretty easily. Uh, but I like that that, you know... That those drawers can come out like you could put them on the other shelves i don't know why you'd want to do it but it just gives you more room to play around with it and then you've got the three drawers or excuse me the three doors that open um Let's see, it is 19 inches tall, so just an inch taller than your 18 inch doll, so that's great. Um, yeah, so I think this is great. I, I, let me turn it, a, oops, let me turn it around for you real quick. Just so you can see the back side. Um, it's solid white all the way around, which I think is fantastic, which means uh, you actually could use this as something to divide a bigger doll room if you wanted to. Um, like if you had it on its side here, you could have this side be like, this side be the kitchen and this side be like a living space. But you can do that because it's it's pretty clear all the way around. Um, 
I will say I, I only have sort of one um, complaint. I mean, honestly, even though this is annoying, it's not the end of the world. And by you didn't even see that, but the door doing that, <laughs> like that's annoying, but um, it's fine. I'll live with it. My one thing that I am concerned about, and let's see if I can actually get this to show up. Um, do you see the paint line here? So it's just, uh, it's not going to bother me at all. Uh, I just want you to know this is something that I did see in my, um, in my version of it. So sometimes the paint is not super well done, but I know that's also hard to do with the MDF um, and particle board and things like that. Um, it does say it's made out of a wood composite, um, but I think it'll be okay. So, oops, yep, now on my tripods. Yeah, I'm trying to move everything, and now my tripod's being annoying. Okay. Oh, like I said, excuse to practice with my tripod as well. Let's see. There we go. So overall, I'm happy with this. Um, I'm really glad, again, I have it in my collection. Despite that drawer, <laughs> drawer keeps opening. Uh, let's see. So this retails for... Um, I'm trying to do quick math in my head, $132. Um, I do think this is a good deal on sale. So I got it for $66. Um, I mean, honestly, it is all wood. So it is a fantastic price. Um, and I don't think you're going to get this level of detail. I mean, look at the, the beadboard on the back wall of that. That's just amazing details. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy I have this. Um... Again, high quality, made of wood, and the, like the, the the nitpicky things I've pointed out because they're just you know manufacturing defects. Um, that's that's true for a lot of manufacturing these days. There's always going to be something that's not quite right. Um, but overall, I think it's a great deal. Uh, I would encourage you to add this to your collection. Like I said, this has been on my my wish list for a very very long time. Um, actually, this was on my wish list before the the fancy barn door sword trunk thing um was ever released um that's how long this particular piece has been around and it's very very sought after um so if you can get it on their sale days that's awesome but i still think it's worth the price even if you buy it for full price um it's just overall it's a great piece uh it can be modern can be um you can probably take it all the way back to kirsten's time um it was also sort of designed for uh, it wasn't specifically designed for Little House on the Prairie, but it, it could go that, that far back if you wanted to. Um, so that being said, uh, that's my review for this piece. Uh, I have, I'm going to again cut this video short. I have one, technically it's two sets, but I bought it as a one bundle from the Queen's Treasure. So I'm going to have that in the third video. Um, but I will leave this hutch up for the next video as well, just so you can sort of see it filled out. Um, I think it's, that's the, the next piece of this, is to see it filled out. Um, I think it will convince you to buy it. Uh, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.